All right, so today what we're gonna do is, um, I've seen some videos online about how to recondition batteries by using Epsom salt and a charger with distilled water. I've seen them by using a, a welder. Um, I got a couple batteries from my best friend who were just sitting around and they've been sitting for probably two, three years with no charge. The last year they've been sitting outside in the, in the weather and I figured I would attempt it and see what happens. So here we go. All right guys, so here's my setup. So the plan is, is to take distilled water, top it off in here, make sure all the fluids are correct. Then I'll hook this other cable to this positive terminal. I'm gonna do a load test first and I have a 500 amp load tester and I'll, I'll video all that. I'm gonna hook my voltmeter onto it um, and see how bad the voltage drops. And then I'm gonna do what they say about hooking the welder up, run a few cycles through here, get it all done, and then I, I will charge it and then do another load test. So we'll go from there. So I went all out and got the expensive load tester. Here it is. So I'm gonna hook it up. We'll flip it on, see what happens to the battery the voltage wise, and then we'll go from there. All right, so I got them all topped off here and gonna hook it up, run a couple cycles like they they say online and see what happens. Also, please note, don't try this at home. This is not me condoning anything. This is just me trying something out. That's it. So I'm gonna hook it up here. There we go, a little Arky Sparky happening. So what they say is it'll start to boil, which you can already see it doing. Stand back, wear your, your eye protection, all that fun stuff, because you don't want this messiness getting in your face. As you can see in my setting here. And one starting to boil, looks like. Looks like I'm gonna have to put this on pause because you, as you can see, it's leaking out over here. So I'm gonna pause this video real quick and then I'm going to move this down to the ground off the table. And we're back. So I am, um, I put a catch pan under it, so we're good now. All right, there we go. We're back to the boil stage. Never good to have a boil, but apparently this is a good thing. I'm gonna see what happens with all, all this. We boil like crazy. If you decide to do this, which I do not recommend, do it in a well-ventilated area like outside. Not like I'm doing it.
So instead of boring you with 10, 15 minutes of cycling this on and off, on and off, on and off, I'm just going to put you on time lapse. All right, so I've done a couple few minute cycles on this and if you hear a lot of noise because I had a fan running to blow some fresh air in my shop. But I did a couple one minute cycles and as you can see, I kept changing the, the volume coming into it here. And so, and we'll see what happens. We're gonna throw it on a charger, charge that bad boy up and then reload it. Just see if it changes it. So any. starting the charge cycle here, and it's showing 12.4 volts, so that's pretty cool. Let's hit it. So I decided to pause this whole process real quick because I figured why not load test it before I charge it. So here right, we so go. Here we are. All right, here we go. Load it. Got 300 amps down to nine. So. Seems like it's doing something. I may run a few more cycles on this welder and see what happens. Now you can see the bubblies. All right, so about another minute and a half, maybe two minutes, running pretty hot and heavy. So I'm gonna cut it off, put the caps on, throw the charger on, we'll see what happens. And we are now off to charging. It says 75 amps, but that's probably just for the engine starter. Bunch of BS all up in here. So I decided I can't wait. Well, I can, but I don't want to for this thing to get to 100%. It's been charging for about 45 minutes, maybe an hour now. And I want to try and see what the load test does. So I'm gonna hook it up. All right, we're reading 13, right at 13 volts. Yeah, let's see what we got going here. Nine point nine volts at three hundred and twenty amps. Kind of impressed. Kind of impressed. So that's going to wrap up my battery load, reconditioning, welder, whatever test. Um, it looks to be pretty successful. I'm probably going to charge it and run a couple more cycles um, through the welder just to. See if it, it gets any more uh, benefit. And if it does, I'll do an update video later on. But just wanted to show you this video, stuff I'm doing. Um, like, subscribe, comment, let me know. Appreciate it.